And tonight's featured lamp from China is this little candle lamp. It's uh, supposedly 3 watt, we're using surface mount LEDs, and it's got a ring of LEDs underneath this typical sort of reflector thing that would normally be used with single high power LEDs. Anyway, to take it a bit, you unscrew the end. It's only a few turns and then suddenly it just sort of pops open and the live circuit board pops out. So you don't really want to be trying to unscrew the screw version of these because it doesn't take much for this to come to bits. Um, inside is this little reflector and it does have that little hole in the middle that's designed to sit over a, a high power LED. So I'm guessing that's where it was originally intended to be used. But in this case it's got a little circuit board, a little aluminium substrate circuit board with nine surface mount LEDs in it. The power supply inside, now it's, it's worth noting that there are two holes in this uh, and there are two little standoff pillars which don't line up. But that's okay, it's what happens. So uh, another bit of uh, heat shrink sleeving being used, just a little piece of heat shrink sleeving cut off and used in an insulator to keep it away from the circuit board. Now I shall show you the schematic for this one. Here we go. Very typical again. 820 nanofarad capacitor, which seems to be the normal for these little lamps uh, on the input. Uh, no inrush limiting resistor, but that's quite common again. Uh, 470 k discharge resistor across the capacitor. Um, an output of the rectifier, a discrete rectifier, like this, uh, is a 4.7 megafarad 250 volt electrolytic capacitor. Now, that means that, technically speaking, if the LEDs go open the circuit, the voltage across this 250 volt capacitor will exceed 330 volts on the UK main supply, so that's not a great design feature. Uh, there's another 470k resistor across that, and then, unlike the other light, uh, similar light I reviewed, um, it's got a 100 ohm resistor, um, this resistor here, on the output, uh, and then 9 LEDs in series. Now I've put 30 volts for this 9 volt LED, 9 LED array, it's more likely 27 volts and I calculated across the 100 ohm resistor it's going to drop round about 5-ish volts and then it's going to be a 1 volt dropped across the, the bridge rectifier. So based on the formula capacitive reactants which gives you equivalent uh, for this capacitor of 3900 ohms at 50 hertz, uh, based on that I calculated that this uh, lamp is going to be 1.6 watts, which is about half its stated rating. But other than that, you know, it's quite an attractive little lamp. It looks okay. Um, and like the other lamp, it's quite nice to see the aluminium uh, substrate being used um, for the to keep the LEDs cool. And it's simple enough, so really... Not an awful lot to go wrong. This, the smoothing's a nice feature and the resistor and the output. Uh, that should get rid of a lot of the ripple in this. Yeah, neat little lamp. Oh, and also just totally hackable. If you gutted it out and you put this cover in, you could just put anything you liked in there. You could uh, make your own little LED arrays up. So quite nice from that aspect.